this will be the halving, but it will be the single most consequential halving in the history of Bitcoin because you're talking about, it's the equivalent of someone coming in the market saying, I'm going to buy eight and a half billion dollars of Bitcoin a year for the next four years. These are the words of the executive chairman and co-founder of MicroStrategy, Michael Saylor, who is also known as the King of Bitcoin. What he was talking about is the upcoming Bitcoin halving event scheduled around April 20th. In this video, we're diving deep into the world of Bitcoin halvings. We'll explore how past events have shaped Bitcoin's price and what the future might hold with the new twist of Bitcoin ETFs. Michael Saylor himself weighs in on why he thinks Bitcoin is now a more solid investment than ever. Stay tuned, because by the end of this video, you'll understand the expert predictions for Bitcoin's price by the end of this year, and discover why there's a big misconception about Bitcoin having that many are missing. Before we get to the topic, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell icon. So without any further ado, let's get started. What is a Bitcoin halving event? Imagine Bitcoin as a gold mine. In the early days, miners could find gold, Bitcoin in our case, relatively easily. But just like a mine, Bitcoin was designed to make mining new coins tougher over time. Here's how it works. Bitcoin operates on a blockchain system where miners use powerful computers to solve complex mathematical problems. When they solve these problems, they process transactions and add them to the blockchain. In return, they earn new Bitcoins. Every 210,000 blocks, or roughly every four years, the reward that miners receive for discovering a new block is cut in half. This is what we call halving. When Bitcoin first started, miners got 50 Bitcoins per block. Then it was cut to 25, then 12 and a half, and as of the last halving in 2020, it's down to six and a quarter Bitcoins. Why does this matter? Well, halving limits the supply of new coins, making them more scarce. This scarcity could potentially drive the price up, assuming demand remains strong, which has only recently gone up with the increased institutional adoption, and we will talk about that later. So basically, halving is a bit like throwing a smaller number of gold nuggets into the market. Each nugget suddenly becomes a bit more precious. So, every time a Bitcoin halving occurs, it becomes a significant moment for investors and miners alike. It shakes up the dynamics of supply and demand, and historically has been a catalyst for some remarkable price movements. How have previous Bitcoin halving events affected the price? Back in 2012, the Bitcoin community witnessed its first ever halving event, where the reward for mining a block was slashed from 50 BTC to just 25 BTC. Now, this was a big deal because it suddenly made Bitcoin twice as hard to mine. Then came a jaw-dropping surge in price. From just $12, Bitcoin's price rocketed to over $1,000 within just a year. That's more than an 80-fold increase. This was the first real proof that halving was a game-changer. Then, in July 2016, came the second halving. This time, the mining reward dropped from 25 BTC to 12.5 BTC. While the initial price reaction wasn't as explosive as the first halving, the steady accumulation and increased adoption saw Bitcoin climbing from around $650 to touch the dizzy heights of $20,000 by late 2017. That's nearly a 30-fold jump. The latest chapter in the halving history happened in May 2020 when the reward halved from 12.5 to 6.25 BTC. Unlike the immediate skyrocketing in previous events, this halving led to a more gradual but firm price increase. From about $12,000 before the halving, Bitcoin's value gradually climbed, ultimately breaking past $60,000 in 2021. This wasn't just about the halving, the global landscape was shifting with institutional investments flowing in and a broader acceptance of Bitcoin as digital gold. These historical events highlight a fascinating trend. While the direct impact of halvings may vary, the general trajectory has been overwhelmingly positive post-halving. It shows how reducing supply, assuming steady or growing demand, naturally drives the price up. But the upcoming Bitcoin halving event is a bit different. Why is the 2024 Bitcoin halving event different? What was Bitcoin's number one liability coming into 2024? 
it wasn't uh, the risk, it wasn't the thermodynamic risk factors, it wasn't the technical capabilities. The number one risk factor of Bitcoin coming into 2024 was a government would ban it. But see what just happened in January, the opposite, right? As highlighted by Michael Saylor, Bitcoin has achieved something it lacked during the previous halving events, regulatory clarity. And that's what's reshaping the entire narrative around the 2024 Bitcoin halving event. These ETFs are crucial because they open up Bitcoin to a broader base of institutional investors who previously might have been hesitant due to regulatory uncertainties. You see, this halving goes beyond just the reduction in minor rewards. It's about how these changes interact with a new evolving market structure. Traditionally, each halving reduces the reward for mining new blocks, thus diminishing the rate at which new Bitcoins are created. This usually puts some selling pressure on the market as miners need to sell more of their rewards to cover operational costs. However, the landscape is different now. With the advent of Bitcoin ETFs, there's a new avenue for investment that could attract fresh capital to the market. This influx of funds is poised to not only absorb the selling pressure from miners, but potentially exceed it, adding a bullish momentum to Bitcoin's price. And let's not forget, when the supply of Bitcoin gets cut in half, but more people want it because it feels safer and easier, that's a recipe for the price to potentially skyrocket. So, while it is the same old halving process, the story this time could be very different thanks to these new developments. It's a super interesting time for Bitcoin. Whether you're deep into crypto or just crypto curious, the upcoming halving event is definitely something to watch. So, is Bitcoin a safe investment now? Well, here's what Michael Saylor says. It's definitely the mo it's the global asset. It's the biggest brand. Everybody knows what it is. It's actually the best thermodynamically sound investment. It's got the best historic performance. And of course, it doesn't have the entire array of uh, risk factors that a company has or that a bond has. It doesn't have credit risk. It doesn't have corporate execution risk. How high can Bitcoin go in 2024? So it's pretty obvious that Bitcoin is one of the best, if not the best investment options in 2024, especially after the approval of ETFs. But how high can Bitcoin's price actually go? That's the question many investors are asking. Well, currently, Bitcoin is trading around $64,000, and the predictions are pretty bold for its future price trajectory. Michael Saylor himself has predicted that the price of Bitcoin can reach as high as $350,000 in 2024. Other analysts suggest that the Bitcoin price will reach $200,000 by the end of next year, citing the surging demand for the world's largest cryptocurrency and the hype around the upcoming Bitcoin halving event. Now, if you're wondering how high BTC will reach after the halving, some experts are looking at the $150,000 price target within 10 days post-halving. That's almost a 135% increase from the current price levels. Now, experts have different opinions about the future price trajectory of Bitcoin. But one thing is for sure, Bitcoin is going to explode after its upcoming halving and could be a smart investment option. But let's not forget, the crypto market is extremely volatile and things can go south in no time. So it's important to do some thorough research before investing in cryptocurrency. Another promising investment asset for you could be stocks. And Nvidia is currently making rounds in the stock market. Don't forget to watch our next video on Nvidia stock analysis for 2024. Before leaving, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section below. We will see you in another video soon.